Yeah. Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines. Live. That's right. Forever. Here we go. I'm alive again. Made it all the way back around here to Wednesday. Is that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, not even half wrong. You're completely in Wednesday. Right now. Doesn't get much more Wednesday than this. Are there waves going? Uh-oh. Are they not? Where's the waves? Are they there? Oh, There's maybe they're quiet. There we go. Oh, that's better. I turned them up a little bit. Uh, yeah, we made it back here. Freddy, this is like your what, fifth day in a row, huh? Is it really? Isn't it? That seems about right. Let's see. Uh, Saturday? Is it just Saturday? Did I come on Friday? Saturday. Saturday? Sunday? Sunday, Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday five. Five days, wow. Yep. I got, uh, Big Tom's. I, they had a burger. Oh, wow, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, I had to work. I had to work most of those days. Well, except for this. See, I had to work Saturday. Then I did not work Sunday. Then I did work on Monday. And then on Tuesday. No, wait. Did I work on Monday? No, I did not work on Monday. Sunday, Monday, off. Then I worked Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, that's just the last two days. Okay, well, somehow I've been feeling like, wow, I'm working a lot. But I guess... Um, not too much, but I got, yeah, I picked up this shift today because my coworkers are all sick. Everyone's all sick. Oh. Not good. Did you find out what they have? Uh, I guess no. <laughs> I guess not. Well, could be the virus. Yeah, I know Casey tested negative for the virus today. She's not the main one who got sick. She was like, thought she got what the other person got, but I haven't heard about the other person yet, so. Yeah, people are getting regular sick these days. Again. Yeah. I haven't been sick. Me in neither. Years. You know? Two years? Usually I get sick. Usually I get a good amount of colds, I think. Yeah. But no colds. The guacamole burger. It's not as good as just like a regular burger. Mmm. It's good, bro. It's good. Um, I don't care for avocado. I like what? guacamole, all right. Avocado itself. They even eat avocado toast. Like I've had some avocado toast, but I'm not crazy about it. Oh. It's a thing to eat. It's definitely a little extra nutrition value on your toast because it's got some oils and I don't know what, protein? I'm not sure if it has protein, at least oily. Bread with this, but avocado and bread don't seem to go together with me. Well. But this is guacamole burger. Let me think of what other things you have without bread that have a avocado. I uh, guess. Sushi. Yeah, no, that doesn't have avocado. That doesn't have bread. Oh, yeah, no. But like, I mean, avocado is on like, so they put them on sandwiches and stuff, it's good like that. Corn tortillas. No, oh, stuff that's not bread that has avocado on it? Or I was thinking about stuff that does have bread, but you went with sushi and that doesn't have any bread, so I thought maybe what about things that uh, well, do have avocado I mean, but it's not good, sushi? It's good with bread. It, it on is sandwiches. Bread. On sandwiches. But uh, just like, just fill up avocado toast, doesn't seem like it'd be that good. I mean, I don't really see how that's different than a sandwich, I guess. I other think the like, avocado is sandwich. like enhancing the other things. Uh -huh. It'd be like eating like mayonnaise. There's like an egg on there too, you know? It's like avocado, toast, and the egg goes oh. on top of it, yeah. Well then, that's like a sandwich. With only one, it's like an open face sandwich, I guess. I thought avocado toast is just toast, put avocado on it. Yeah. Like, I'm sure that some people say avocado toast and that's what they mean. I think once you're adding other things to it, then it's other things. Somehow avocado, because of its, I don't know, maybe how much it costs or something, 
is the is the key ingredient in that. You know, it's like because you always have bread and you always have eggs. Avocados are kind of like I don't know, well, harder to get mostly because they have such a thin or like a small window of um, ripeness. Yeah. Of like they're like perfect eating eatability. Um, usually, I think avocado by itself just kind of has a little almost like fishy flavor to it that I don't like. So. Uh, I think you might be some weird avocados. I don't know. I, it's a lot of them. They're a lot of fishy? Them a, like a little bit. Yeah, a little fishy. I don't know. Fishy, anything that tastes fishy is rotten. Fish isn't supposed to be fishy even. Yeah, that's true. Like, it's rotten. No one else seems to think it's bad when I have, I'm like, mm, this tastes a little fishy. Everyone who else also is around doesn't think so. Yeah, I don't. I've never had an avocado that even was remotely fishy. Yeah. Would not say fishy. I mean, they, they, go, they get like, um, if they're too old, they do have a very window, like a small window of goodness. Yeah, I, that's true. Which is, I think, why you're calling, why I would call it avocado toast, even if there were other things yeah. in it. It goes from like fibrous to gross yeah. really quickly, and there's that small window of time in the middle, and it's hard to get sometimes because mm -hmm. you can't open it up. If you open it up, you ruin it. Yeah. But once it's a little brown, then it tastes, I would say, I don't know, not fishy. No. Um, what would you say? I'm trying to, like, maybe. Remember uh, and both, you're having to both remember and, like, put a word to flavor, which <laughs> we really don't have the greatest vocabulary for flavors in the English language. Like, it's not really set up for talking about flavor too well. Yeah. Just taste a little moldy or something. Maybe. Moldy, or huh? Bitter? Mm. Once of bitterness. Smells of oldness. <laughs> <laughs> smells like a little old. <laughs> yeah. Smells like old fruit smells. It tastes like old fruit smells, but it is old fruit, I think. Yeah. That's tricky. In coffee, they've got a lot of words. It's hard, though, sometimes. There is the coffee, one of the coffees we, I ground it today, and it really smells like black olives when you mm. grind it. It's just like, it, but you know, black olives are a pretty like subtle smell, too, yeah. which is weird. Maybe they it smelled like black olives taste. It was a weird one. Very weird. I got a pumpkin milkshake. At the, um. At Big Tom. Oh, that's a great idea. Seasonal. I want. I think it was real pumpkins I saw. That's what I heard. I want like a quarter of this milkshake. Yeah. But I'm gonna. I, I want a quarter of that milkshake too. Oh, you do? You want to <laughs> a cup or? I don't know how that goes anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't, I don't like to buy avocado too much because I always, I, like, I would say I only have about like a 25% success rate with eating it. Is that timing or? Yeah, is it just timing. Like not you're like because you're supposed to in the store somehow be able to tell it's good or not and it's like well the color of the skin and like maybe the like like if you buy them it. if you buy them when they're good uh -huh. then you're gonna eat them like for that day yeah so what well, my thought is always I always go buy them and I buy them hard oh yeah because they'll get good they do yeah they don't they're not just they don't have to just get good on the vine they get good like mm. just sitting around that's how they get good yeah things ripen. Ripening is a um, is like a good word for getting rotten. Uh huh. And you want to eat eat it when it's like slightly rotten. That's what ripe fruit is. Okay. Because I think oh, because it's starting to, the sugars are starting to or they're like whatever they are before sugars, it's starting to turn into sugar as it's beginning like yeah rotten. Yeah. So basically, so being ripe is actually being rotten. Slightly rotten. But you call it, rotten. Yeah. But we don't call it, but it's like oh that's a little ripe. Oh you yeah. Know? So that's you see that, it's kind of like not a good smell, actually. It's a corpse. Yeah. Yeah. So, you don't want to call it rotting, but right, being ripe is rotting. Yeah. It's like right at the right amount of rottenness. Because you see it on the tree, and I think it's made on the tree so that it gets rotten, and then it's like fertilizer or something. That's what fruits are for. It's like they drop around the tree, and then they have the seeds in them, and they fertilize the ground. Yeah. I was wondering about that, because the... Uh, rotten. The trees, there are, there are trees that have like uh, apples, apples yeah. fall down, yeah. and then they just are on the ground, and like the... It's like pumpkins, remember the pumpkins just turn into other pumpkins. Yeah, that's Just like sure. leave it on the ground, get yep. rotten, and they grow back. That's like yeah. what they do. Uh, 
Well, so you get the avocado and you buy them hard because you, only, you can't buy them too soft because they're really bad. And if you buy them right when you think they're good, you got to go home and eat them immediately because they'll go bad in the second day. Yeah. If you buy them hard and then you got to uh, wait and then every day you got to check on them. And then it's like, oh, it's good. It's the day. Today's the day. Avocado toast day. But you like forget. Sometimes I forget the day or I misjudge and I think, oh, maybe one more day. You're like, oh, it was yesterday. Yeah. Or it's like, oh, it's too fibrous. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a hard window and I haven't figured, I guess I haven't figured out the window thing. So I only eat about 25% of the time. But uh, I don't know the people at the, uh, the guacamole, I'm pretty sure guacamole, mostly guacamole you eat at like, if you go to like a restaurant, it's like from the bags. Really? Mm-hmm. I used to get guacamole at Jay's farm stand. I guess I still do that now and again. And they make it. They fresh. make it. Yeah. But I think if you go to a restaurant, unless they, like if you go into a, like Big Tom's or yeah, like they have avocado. I think they've got away at like um, Subway maybe. Yeah, they don't make it. Or I think it comes from a bag. Mm-hmm. It's like those bag people, they know when it's good. I guess they must. Maybe or it's the mushing of it. Maybe they know. Like somehow they like get it into the bag, and then like maybe being in the bag keeps it from going rotten. But like if you cut avocado. And then even if you like wrap it in plastic, it turns brown. So yeah. maybe they like how yeah. do they seal it? They got a vacuum sealer. Uh huh. It's an oxygen. Oxygen makes it brown. Oh yeah. Oxidizing. Whoa, whoa. What's this? Someone trying to park? Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday on Tuesday we were both there. Huh? It was uh, around the same time, kind of, because I'm doing the same thing. All the time. No. We're here talking to James and Yellowfellow about do that savings time. Oh, yeah. And uh, other things. Yeah. Getting ready for daylight savings time. Yeah, preparing. And then I uh, guess I just went home after the program. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm here. This is like being out. Yeah. But maybe I, I should get like a third place to go, like Yellowfellow's oh. third place. But I don't really want to go anywhere, I guess. I don't want to go anywhere, but I want to go somewhere, hmm. if that makes sense. But Sounds like you want to go to the park, but it's wet now. Yeah, kind of. Go to the park or something. I don't really, there's no specific place I want to go. It's like not home, I guess. You want somewhere to go. Used to be the bars. I don't want to go anywhere, but I want somewhere to go. Yeah. Um, going to the bars. I watched my show too fast. You watched it? I'm, I'm st- yeah, I only have like one episode left. Oh. I only spent like, I only had it for like three or four days, you know. Um, Should have stretched it out. Should have watched only one episode a day. But it does the thing where it starts playing the next episode and it, it, it's like, oh man, I want to see what's going on. Yeah. And then you watch three and you're like, oh, I'm going to, it's going to be over and then what? Life's over. Another show. Life's over after that. The so story's like, oh over. They, they've like, it's not just life; it's a whole world is over, basically. Because mm-hmm. while you're watching it, it's like in your mind, kind of like running around a little bit. So I have one more episode I'm gonna watch tonight, I guess. And uh, I'm I went home, watched like two more of those shows. I think I did some sleeping. Went a bit early, earlier and earlier. It's kind of weird. Oh, really? My, yeah, my schedule, my sleep is getting weird. It's like nighttime for me now. I mean, it is nighttime, but I was going to bed like at, so I, I tried to do like this math, because I used to go to bed at like four, uh-huh. and wake up at like one, four, five, six. So that's still like eight, nine hours of sleep. But now I'm like doing like the four o'clock math. So it's like, if, it, if I went to bed at four, because now I'm going to bed like at 11. So it's like, yeah. if I went to bed at four, like four hours before I went to sleep, that's midnight. And now I'm going to bed at 11, so it's like seven o'clock is like new midnight for me. Wow. Yeah, which is like now, coming now. up on it, coming yeah. up on, on fakey midnight. And now now I find myself 
at like 8 o'clock. I've seen people doing stuff. I'm like, hey, it's night. It's night time. <laughs> oh yeah. What are you doing out at eight o'clock? Um, so I basically uh, I'm I've become a monster. And at least maybe you can use this to understand some people that were harder to understand before. Mm-hmm. You know. It reminds me of certain friends who worked government jobs for their whole time. I've known them. We had a difficult time going out late to things. Yeah. And I, uh, we always wanted to go out to late things. And they're like, come to our music show. It starts at 10 p.m. And they're like, 10 whoa, p.m. 10 p.m.? You can't go to 10 p.m.? You're like, what? There's plenty of time. I'm a for this. The night is young. Know. Yeah. Oh, all right, that's awful. Kind of. But that's like the only awful thing. For them. Like, hey, <laughs> why don't we all just move to moon? Well, I could go over there. Let's go over there. You got the pill cam today. Let me eat half this burger. Oh, yeah, pill cam. Pill cam. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, didn't make it. Oh. I don't have my hamster. Yeah. There. Really got to get up. That's a good exercise. That's like a uh, mob- like life mobile forward. You know, one of these days you're going to be old and decrepit. You won't be able to um, get up unless you work at it now, you know. You can build that muscle group now. All right, let's see pill cam. I'm going to go straight to pill cam. Sure. Well, let's get the messages. Oh, we're going to at least get the uh, us oh, yeah. cam. Okay, there. Yep, that's us. Maybe, well, traditionally, I've been listening to these yellow phone messages while I get the pills going past the... Uh, also, look under the keyboard, too. There's another thing today. Watch me. That's a dangerous thing to write on a tape. Is it? Because it's like, for now, the note is for now. Yeah. So you maybe should put a note on it instead of, because it's like saying something. Oh. Like, it's like you label a thing, you're like, new thing. We should probably cross it out when we're done watching it and then yeah. tape over it, I would think. Maybe it could be tomorrow's tape. Because mm. it's not it's it's uh, not very important for future watching, but. Oh, it's, it's, it's like timely? It could be timely. Oh. It was from last hey. night. What? Yep. And you got uh, it on tape somehow? Yep. What did he say? Oh, hey man, that's what Google thinks he said. Very short thing. How'd you get this on tape? Uh, used the studio equipment. What? You were watching TCTV here? No, I was watching TCTV on my phone, but then I... You came down here? Yeah. You saw it, and you're like, oh, i got to run. Yeah. Hello, and oh, welcome wow. to the First Returns, Election Night 2021. I'm Deborah Vinsel, the CEO here at Thurston Community Media. Tonight, we'll bring the results from local races as soon as Oh, yeah, it's voting time. Sometime before 8.30. You see? In I actually time, know I two people Walker, that are on the Tumwater Council. I don't know if they're running against each other. Because I'm not sure. How does city, how does city council work? Uh-oh, where's my sauce? Oh, no. Squish it. I don't know. I lost it, though. Is it ranch? No, it's um, uh, goop. Other plans for you tonight, but I'm so glad that... Look at this person there on a screen, first of all. Oh. We got, see who it is? It's Alex Ross today. Whoa, he looks like a politician. Yeah. He's running against that guy? Yeah. <laughs> That's the, that was the returns from last night. He got 32% and the other guy got 72 or 62, 7%. I, last time I voted, I made a point to not vote for white people if I could help it. Yeah. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> other guy. I guess it's racism. As well as what sauce? What sauce is it? It was goop. Just like I thought, I carried it over here though. Like goop, you know goop? Yeah, I know goop. Oh wait, it was in like a little plastic. Here's how it's actually on. We'll find your goop. Is this here? Oh. I've been told that we have Alex Rossiter joining us. On the, he was on TV Hi, last night. Alex, how are you? Oh, there is it. I found it. Alex looks like you're. you're I didn't yeah. spill it. Tell him. Oh, he's at okay. his home on his phone? So he's on the phone? Not trending 
Alex, get a, um, um, which happens in a get a, a, I'm a wondering computer. if you would like to take a moment and just uh, lift up some folks who maybe have worked on your campaign campaign with you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. He didn't even call us to tell us he's running? Uh, I do. So uh, I want to definitely say thank you to uh, God uh, for putting me here, you know, and keeping me to here. God? I say, what? Yeah. To still be alive. What about I want to Satan, say thank you Alex? All these people in this room with me right here. I don't think Satan gets you elected. Oh, that's wonderful. Hello, everybody. What? Thanks he's got like a whole actual campaign going? Yeah. He's like doing this for real, huh? He was in the book. Friends and family. What? So I'm proud to be from Tumwater and from America. And uh, <laughs> you know, we'll, I'll try again in a couple years. Okay. Well, we want to yeah. thank you for well, joining us and like, for taking time away a, from your friends and family far, during this evening. Uh, pretty far um, split. Like, so there's we'll still let you get back to them. And, uh, and thanks for thanks for calling in. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Take care. All right. That's it. Oh. Oh, okay. So um, I need to double check with the oh. uh, folks in the control. Uh, that was, she's a, uh, it said at the beginning, she like is like a, work, maybe she's a, someone at, not SPSCC, but the other one, St. Martin's politic person. Was it a rerun? No, no. Oh, the show, last the, night. Of, of the episode though, oh, that was on, he was on late last night? Yeah. He was on, yeah, yeah, because the, the first, the, the votes come in at like 8 o'clock at night, mm. and so I was watching and then he was on there. I actually came back. They had a, the live stream. They live streamed to YouTube. So I just like went back in DVR on the live stream and recorded the the parts I thought would be interesting for the program. Where it's on this angle? What? Which camera? Like, switch it? No, it's on the one that we just got up from. It was the couch. It was the couch oh. camera. There oh, you go. Is it off? I think it's just off. The camera's off. Maybe. Um, no. What? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. This was it not was pointing at the wall or something. Yeah. Pill cam. Okay. Well, I guess. Well, yeah. Great, you just got this cozy. Oh, yeah. They didn't have the caddy before. Caddy. Yeah. Pill caddy. Is that like a golf caddy? Like similar, like. Yeah, isn't a caddy a person, though? It's a yeah, pill? golf caddy is a person. I don't know if this is how this is gonna work though, because I'm trying. Uh, koozie. It's a pill koozie. 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 Koozie sounds like a word for a vagina. <laughs> 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 like, isn't that? Uh, I think it's similar. I don't think that's quite. The <laughs> um. I got. I can't really do this. I, this is like two hands because of the bottle. Need, need me to hold it? Like, reach. Cause we need a longer. Longer cable. Oh yeah, we definitely need longer. Oh, I don't know about this. All right. Well, I got vitamin E. But after the yellow phones, you're leaving too short of messages. Yeah, he said, uh, "Wait a second here. I forgot. This one's two minutes long." Vitamin E, first vitamin. What I, I have a system. I'm, I'm taking all the vitamins and then I'm putting them. Are you alphabetizing them? No, I'm just laying them out like this though, on the table. Vitamin E, and then I got apple cider vinegar, which I'm almost out of this, but I don't know oh, if I'm wow. gonna refill. Only like two left. What the heck, yellow fella? This is silent. Apple cider vinegar, okay. And then I got vitamin C. That's an important one. I found out recently that that's uh, what keeps you from getting scurvy. If you had no vitamin C, um, yeah, I knew that your so body would just like fall apart because it doesn't, about that. It doesn't have the can't like keep you to, your teeth fall out, your skin falls off. You only need a little bit to fight off scurvy. This one I'm not really doing it's over here. Oh yeah, this is general multivitamin. Right, it's hard to keep track. Oh, there it is. There it is. This one's got all of them in it's there. Got this one's got like, like a bunch of little things like a little bit of everything. zinc, uh -huh. iron, riboflavin. Yeah. Where is it? Monday. Um. You're not even gonna look at these. Yeah. I guess uh, this is something again. I'm talking over. I, I realized uh, I've, I've been saying riboflavin in the past, but I think riboflavin is like, um, like Jerry Lewis, 
the Nutty Professor, you know who I'm talking about? Oh, Flavin, yeah. You know, like, Rival Flavin! Yeah. That's what he says, you know? Oh. Oh, uh, the Flavin! The Rival Flavin! That's Jerry Lewis, who was, um, now he's the, uh, um, Professor from Simpsons. Yeah. You know? I know. It's like, oh, uh, with the, with the things there. Maybe, well, I think my brother does a Jerry Lewis. Impressions? Yeah, like me. Me, me and my brother are just sitting around doing uh, impressions mm. of the guy. The guy. Oh yeah, the guy playing Riza. Let's call my brother and tell him to do the Riza impression. Okay. And then he'll tell him to do a Jerry Lewis impression. You think he'll know about Jerry Lewis? Yep. Okay. We got Echinacea. Take it. Oh no, I don't right want the Echinacea. This one. This one. For that one over there. Is the D with no lid. The D vitamins are stuck on down yeah, there. Yeah, I can so see they're all in there. Every time I get one, I gotta take a, like a pen mm. or something and loosen it. This is, this is the system. Yeah. So I did this. I've been doing this every day. I guess I haven't been really talking about it. Now, got vitamin D out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, this is fish pills. Oh, yeah. That's an important one. Fish pills. Hello? Hello? Andrew, it's Pokemon TV. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Hey, say, say, Rybo Flavin like Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis? Jerry Lewis? Rybo Flavin. Rybo Flavin. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to go. These are my brothers. I'm going to go with them. Zip, zip, zip. Huh? Let's hear that one. Zip, 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 log. Zip, go, go, go. I'm the Rizzo. That's the um the guy playing the Rizzo oh. in the in the new show. The show is not the actual not the actual Rizzo. The actual Rizzo doesn't sound that crazy to me. Oh. But the Rizzo from the show is oh, I'm, I'm the Rizzo. I talk like this. It's like that's not how Rizzo talks. Guy yeah. on the show. All right, Buff Raven. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> And Mr. Lewis, you get your fiber today? Oh, I got the fiber! <laughs> and what is, what is that? Riboflavin? I don't know. It's in multivitamins, though. <laughs> this one Hello. has... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta take off my glasses to read things. Oh, actually, this is, might not have riboflavin in it, even. Oh, no, there it is. Riboflavin, 131%. I don't know what it is, but it, it is something that you do need because the apple cider vinegar, it says, it says what's the benefits of apple cider vinegar pills. And it says, all the benefits of apple cider vinegar. Yeah. So then I take like one or two at a time, and then I eat it. Yeah. And then. You drink water. Mm -hmm. Did you get the burger? Mm-hmm. Is it good? It's, I'd rather have this like the regular Big Tom burger. Do you bite? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I, you gotta eat it with food. I'm really. Done. Yep. I made salmon. Oh yeah, you going to work? I'm gonna go to work. How much salmon is there? Can I eat when I get home? Sure. That's good. So I'm gonna eat. Yeah, eat a little food and then. I'm going to eat some more pills. There you go. He's having a hard time what, with the lighting. What are you doing? Watching Jeopardy. Oh, uh, yeah? Who's winning? Is that guy still winning or he losing pretty quickly? Uh, the, the annoying guy was there for 10 days after he beat the champion. Damn. Oh, yeah? Too long. Pretty good run. Not bad. What's the, uh, is there a question? Or I guess that's only the answer, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, answer Today, is. Huh? Is violent movies and sex on TV? Family Guy. Family Guy. The answer is Family Guy? Yeah. Oh. Meatwad, make the money, G. Meatwad, get the honeys, G. I didn't, um... Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I didn't... Yeah. I didn't swallow that pill fast enough and a little, I tasted it a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. You ever... Sometimes, uh... 
I don't have a water to drink, and then I'll have to just swallow the pill by itself, and it usually it works. Oh. Sometimes it feels like it gets stuck in the middle there. I, I don't even attempt that. No? I think I'm getting an ice cream headache. Too much of uh, the... I got a pumpkin milkshake, yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to get a... Oh, yeah, I forgot. What? The fiber pills. Oh, where are they? They're not even in the thing. Is that they're behind here. you? Oh, yeah. They're Do you big. think they would fit in there? Uh, I don't know. It's you did take one. two things out of the five, out of the um, caddy. We could uh, we could move the. Uh, also, could get a different caddy. This is just the first. This is like a prototype. Proto caddy. I could move this one. Oh, oh. I think it's something you just oh. Oh, pop the fish oil out. Um, you know, vote, Andrew. I, I, I. Too late now. It already happened. Oh. Huh? That was yesterday. Yeah. Did you vote? No. Me neither. I forgot to. Well, I, I like signed up to vote. Um, kind of out of like uh, pandemic boredom, I guess. Yeah. So I was like, I guess I'll sign up to vote. What? You could uh, re <clears throat> you could arraign for a public office out of out of boredom, because it was really easy last year. They like they, they dropped a lot of the um whatever process. Yeah, I know somebody who ran for public office, I guess. Actually, I think I know somebody on the city council who I went to school with. And I think I used to party with them, but maybe they don't want to have that on, on their record. Uh, who's on the Tumwater City Council. Yeah, yeah, your friend's in Tumwater Council. Mm -hmm. He's been there. He's going to be reelected. Put this back. I just had to knock your milkshake over. <sighs> my arms are getting tired. Yeah. How come I... I I guess Alex hasn't talked to us in a while, but it seems like... Uh, Last time I remember Alex talking to us was when he was saying that thing about old school pizza and making them wear a mask. Oh, yeah, and then I was like... Said that was good, and maybe maybe there was just... We just kind of haven't talked ever since. Yeah, we had some... Uh, the mask issue is driving us apart, huh? I guess. Oh. I bet you if we called him he would still talk to us but it's probably just like you know when you have like a weird interaction yeah I tried to call him on Father's Day oh yeah and he never responded yeah so uh, now I have a I mean I still like wearing the masks but I don't wear the masks really hardly at all because um, I'm just not going anywhere so now it's easy for me to say Everybody should wear masks all the time because I'm not going to the places where you need to wear masks. Yeah. All right, bye, Andrew. Hey, bye. <laughs> all right, both leaving. Uh, we listen to this one. I'm attempting to transplant some uh, some vines that were chopped. And I, oh, here's Bill. Okay. Starting with the belch. There's a little crack going by. It's pretty. Um, so I have some, like, excitement of a very personal nature <laughs> to, to share. Okay. I have some excitement of a very personal nature yeah. to share. That's what I have to do. Get on with it. I don't even want to share it because uh, of the way I was presented it. It's too up. personal now. Uh, what is it, Monday? Uh, You're not even going to listen to these today. Yeah. We got James and Heather Hour. It's the James and Heather Hour. Barely right. got to James Ow. and Heather, I think. Ow! The fucking feet are hurting in my shoes because. Because I'm walking. Is it, is it the, we have the meat on. Yeah, I got meat. My shoes. Are hey, not we got a new message from somebody. Yeah. They are the wrong shoes. Well, I want to hear y'all phone personal stories. He's teasing. He's teasing it. Get diseases. Uh, get, we'll get one more y'all phone message and then we'll check that new one. Oh my God, we got some new ones. We got it. 11:30 today. I don't know, yeah, maybe, I think he's just, like, making, uh, weird jokes. Hey, it's Jordan, they're trying to get on the TV. It's Jordan, trying to get on the TV. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, 
Got to call me back at 360 Hey. Just trying to get on uh, the TV. Yeah, All the right, TV. Bye. Is this someone you know? Who are they calling that? In the, no, I don't know. Uh, this There was hey. someone on the... Jordan. Trying to call the guy on the TV. This isn't Jordan. He said... Hey, it's Jordan. They're trying to get on... Oh, oh he's making a funny voice. Uh, is it not the same Jordan? Maybe a different Jordan. No, it's the same one. He's just doing a silly voice. Oh. Uh, Jordan. Because there was somebody on the video or in the like uh, li live stream who was trying to um, chat with That the was program. the same Jordan. That was the same Jordan? Yeah. This I mean, Jordan is one to make silly voices. I guess I was doing the Jerry Lewis voice a little bit earlier. Yeah, we are here to talk now, yeah. Yeah. Oh, silly voices. Ah, no, we can't have that on the show. It's Jordan, man. Calling you, Ellie. That's what he's doing. Like yeah, none of, none of that. We only want the uh, right of... Slay, man. That one has, a, has a, like, a, um, the grounds for, a, like, a setup. And it's like, hey, what, what kind of, like, hey, what, what is, what's Jerry Lewis's favorite? Vitamin. Right, yeah. No, hello? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh vitamin C! <laughs> can we get any vitamin? I yeah, can we get any vitamin. The riboflavin is. sounds like something more specific. I wonder what it is. What is riboflavin? I don't know, but it's in corn flakes, I think? Really? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. 360481. Oh. Do the thing, Gordon. Not available. Yep. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Graham, this is a program. You can call back. You have about uh, 23 minutes. Everybody. All right. Let's see if Yellow Phillip finally revealed his uh, personal. Exciting. Is exciting news of a personal nature. What are you drinking? Uh, some kind of a, a beer. Lime juice, huh? It's a sour ale. Is it limey? It is a little limey. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here I am walking. I don't think he's going to reveal. That was already, we've already talked to him since then, too. Yeah. Maybe he's waiting for us to ask about this news. I think he's making things up. I don't think so. I'll give him one more chance and we'll call him. Um. Well, that was just, yeah. Very. He knows that's what I want to hear. Very specifically. Cool. Personal. Like morning story. light. <laughs> yeah. Going through, you know, the forest trees here, and uh, just a moment, and like, appreciating it more, it was like, just fiddling around on my phone, and I looked up again to like, try to look at it and see it, and it was gone, I missed my shit. To see the morning light coming through the trees? That's how it is. How it works. How it works. You hear about and like the northern lights or something? Oh, uh, I need to Yeah, see. they say that every year though around this time. I, realize I, do. How bad. I remember um, the last hot. time <laughs> that how happened. How badly I need things. Oh, I need things. I need, I need them. I need things. That's what, what I need. need. I need things keep me going and I'm a consumer. Give me these things and I will be at rest for a moment. I will feel satiated but then I need more of these things. Oh, wow. Am I making a point? Am I trying to make a point to feel momentarily better about the things that I do? Will I change if I'm having any sort of like, well, am I still making a point? Remind oh. Me, remind me of the time when I, I told myself not to, to stop posing 
my thoughts as questions to myself. Oh yeah. And instead, pose them as statements. Yeah. But I am not going to change. Yeah. Or like I know I did it for a long time. But I think now I'm doing it subconsciously. Like I'm no longer asking myself questions. Or am I? Am I? Am I? There's a question. Yeah. Am I asking myself a question? I don't know anymore. Maybe I'm, now I'm uh, going back on it. I am asking myself questions. Or I was like consciously trying to stop myself from doing that here and talking about it. I'm like, no more. Uh, uh, as you're calling Noah, fellow, I just want to say about that uh, Northern Lights thing. Yeah. I remember distinctly that uh, the Northern Lights, they said it was going to um, be visible again, like right before my old housemate at 1611 moved away, I think it was around the same time. And we all went and found the highest point in town to look, and it wasn't even that, like, cloudy. Yeah. But you couldn't see it from in town. Maybe you got to get out of light pollution. Mm. And, like, it's also been really cloudy. I don't know. Everyone's like, you're going to be able to see the, light, the, like, northern lights. And I think it's a big trick. I don't think anyone's going to see the northern lights. Please leave a message after the tone. Yata, what's your personal excitement story? I think you're maybe making things up. Um, what's Jerry Lewis's favorite vitamin? You call it back, maybe you know, it's like a code. You know, I was like saying like the blackbird flies south in the evening. I was like a code. Yeah. So it's like if you actually listen to this message, and then when you call back and you say the blackbird flies south in the evening, and they're like, oh, okay, you know, it's like a, um, like a door, like you go into a secret bar or whatever. Oh, I like that, yeah. Like knock on the door. It's like the blackbird flies east. Like you, like you, if you want to kill somebody, yeah. you tell them that the blackbird flies east in the in the morning. Well, usually it'd be like you go to the bar and they, they be like tick, 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 knock on the door. And then the person like slides the thing and they say, the blackbird flies east in the morning. And then you say, but only if the sun sets oh, yeah. on the northern side. Yeah. Like, Okay, and you like can go inside, you know. You have to like yeah. the phrase and then the counter phrase. Yeah. But what do you say? Like, you get somebody to say the wrong phrase, and that's how you know that that person is supposed to be killed. Oh yeah. Oh. Like you say, the blackbird by south in the morning instead of north. Uh -oh. Like, oh. Good job. Then they pull up the something falls on you, pulls you. Pull you. A blackbird just flies right through your head. Yeah. Peck, oh, I tell peck the code. Death by blackbirds. Now I really expanded on the code, but uh, if you tell the code, then we know that you're actually listening to these messages. Yeah. But I still think it's kind of a trick. What's going on with that blink and light? Oh, that's just a, somebody's turn signal in the right in the right spot. Yep. Yep. Bro. Kind of a hectic turn signal, really. I saw somebody without their um, headlights recently. Oh, yeah. And then I was like trying to communicate to them. From my own car. car? Yeah. yeah. Like somehow, like, wave in there. Usually you just like blink your high beams at them, but that doesn't always tell you either. I think they were behind me. Oh, shoot. I was like trying to turn around and be like, Get this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, what's yeah. A, what's a hand gesture for your lights? I was like, like turn, in, turn in fake yeah. knobs and stuff. I've always thought it'd be a good idea to get like a LED text display on the back of your car mm. but like um, but I guess that's probably not good for driving because it'll be riding in the um, riding texting. Yeah, yeah it's probably probably wouldn't be a good idea but then you could say like your headlights are out or like stop tailgating me I mean maybe it'd be um, may, might be a money maker actually I saw um, oh, a bunch of bumper stickers on them and one of them said like if you're reading this you're Goodbye. Yeah. But I wasn't that close. Yeah. People oh. love to say things like that on their bumpers. I'm feeling weird. I don't know if this, this uh, milkshake put me in a weird mind space. Uh oh. I'm like, oh, I'm like, maybe like groggy or something weird. More yellow oh. color? Yeah, it's, it's silent though. Tricks, um, tricks, tricks, yellow fellow. I kind of want to call out Mark the guitar player and John Webster. Okay. Maybe, should we call Mark first? Yeah, let's call Mark. The Braves 
won the World Series. Oh, the Braves? Yeah. Oh, they still have the name? The yeah. Braves? Wow. The cultural appropriators. Shoot. You'd want them to lose, but I guess sometimes the heel wins, you know? Hey, we're the cultural appropriators. I'll be. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hello? Hello. Hello, Rebecca. Hi there, Kenny. Hi there, Freddie. We love you guys. Here's Mark. Okay, Mark, love you. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, good. How are you, Mark? Oh, pretty good. Just jamming on my guitar and stuff. Exxon? Yeah. I'm just jamming on my guitar and stuff. Oh, yeah. You left a really ripping guitar message the other day. You should leave more of those. How do you know? How do I know that you left one? How do I know I played guitar yesterday? No, you left a message like maybe a week ago. A week with ago. Oh, that was album. just a recording off of uh, Van Halen. Oh, it was? It was just a recording off Van Halen. Oh, it was a CD off Van Halen. I was like, wow, that work is really good. Stepped it up recently. Do some Van Halen stuff, Mark. What? Can you do uh, pinch harmonics? I can't hear you there. Well, it's like talking in a tunnel or something. Pinch harmonics. What? Pinch harmonics. Fuck the harmonic shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said too, huh? What are you doing? Are you playing guitar? Well, I was, but I, how do I play guitar when I have one hand holding on the fucking phone? <laughs> I don't know. You want to get back to the, the phone or the guitar and off the phone? Well, that's cool. I like talking to you. You're a good person, you know. Oh, that's, thank you. I like, I like talking to you. You're cool. Thank you. Have you been watching? Have you been watching? I uh, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, huh? Scary month is over. You know about scary month? I'd like to go over your place and like super glue your head to my speaker and turn the full blast. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> oh. What are you doing now? I ain't got. I went to Big Tom's. You ever been to Big Tom's? Yeah, that's a pretty good place, huh? Yeah, I'm very full actually, and I still have to eat. Yeah, good hamburgers there. Hey, if they don't give you a nap and a napkin, it should be illegal, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is pretty messy. I, I'm yeah. pretty full. It, I, it, they got good hamburgers there. They're real good hamburgers. I agree. I'm eating it. I got to finish it. I, I can't not finish it, but I'm already kind of uncomfortably full. There was, a, there was a place called, it had a big hamburger on top of the place on Martin Luther. Mama's. Yeah, that was a good place. It had there good ham Mama's hamburgers. Pizza. And then they, and, they uh, it was like a good yeah, hamburger. And, then they closed down maybe like a year or two ago, and then they yeah, no, but the fries were the fries were really good. I thought. The you know? fries? I don't even remember the fries. It was specifically well, good they, fries. Uh, they had uh, boy, they were probably they, normal fries. They're probably just that. normal fries. I mean, for, yeah, fry. I don't know if I've ever had fries and be like, these are good fries. Yeah. You well, you have to get. Yeah. You, have, like, you, have, to, you have to find a Let's place that has a nice, fries, big, yeah. juicy hamburger. You know. Tacoma. Yeah. yeah. But you know, Norma's Burgers, they, they had that hamburger on top of the place, but then they... they hey, hey, do you like, do you like Ozzy Osbourne? Ozzy Osbourne? Ozzy Osbourne, yeah, Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, yeah. Shut up! I, uh, I, got, a, I got a song from Ozzy Osbourne. You want to hear it? Yeah. Listen to that, so Shut it's cool. That's all the other one. And then I do a lead yeah. show. It's guitar jokes. I'm just joking. I'm just being stupid. Yeah. So I'm just being stupid. Yeah. Normal burgers had that burger on the top of it. It was looking good, but then they sold it to a barbecue place. Hey, what are they going to do with that burger? What? Are they going to sell it to another, <laughs> uh, to another uh, uh, hamburger place? They turned it into a barbecue place, and then it's painted the burger black. Like solid yeah, but what are they going to do with that I burger? That'd be kind of like, cool to put it in some other place, huh? They're trying to hide it, but now it's back to Why? Why hide it? Well, they, they painted it black. 
I know, but what they should have done is give it to another place to use another restaurant. I know, but they, well, they should have they should have just left it because what ended up happening was that the barbecue place closed down, and now it's well, okay. Well, think about it. Think, think about it. it. They had to build that thing. Why did they throw it away? Well, they didn't throw it away. They put it back, but now it's a hamburger place again. And they tried to put oh, it, really? They tried to put it back to hamburger colors. Oh, they yeah. They had a bloody base coat because now it doesn't look, the, the colors are off. It looks like a breakfast sandwich. Oh. Hey, you know what you do with a Big Mac? Uh, you scrape off all that uh, lettuce and all that other uh, and uh, sauce and stuff into another part of the the box that it comes in, and you can make your own homemade salad out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. No, it's not really a big. It's not really a legal salad. It's, it's kind of like a salad in a way. Yeah, then you get a burger and a salad for the same price. It's not legal. <laughs> Uh, you take that stuff off the bun, it's like, and you put it in the big amount there, it's almost like a little salad. It's cool. That is pretty cool. That's not, it's salad dressing. Big Mac sauce is basically salad dressing. Yeah. Oh, I am so full. I'm going to shove this in my face. One of those talking guitars. Hey, you like death metal? Yeah. Ah, uh, I died one time because I played death metal. You ever play life metal? No, I, I died from death metal. Oh, yeah. That's why it's just a stupid joke, I guess. <laughs> That's good. No, I'm just joking. Mark, what did you do for Halloween? <laughs> See, uh, the, uh, Steve Tyler from Aerosmith was going to do the lead solo of Mary Had a Little Lamb. There you go. There you go. I'll show you. Now oh, wait a minute. I got to tune the fucker. It's hard to play with this fucking phone on my elbow. I mean, my shoulder. Is this a joke? No, it's, no, not, it's not a joke. joke. I don't know if it's funny, but... Neither of you has a joke. 
It's not, it's a, not a joke. I, okay, basically, hey, I, somebody was. Hey, uh, uh, Kenny, never mind, Kenny? I'll tell you later. What? what? Is Kenny? that Mark there? Yeah. Uh, what? I don't mind if a guy's next Mark? to me smoking a joint, but you know what? Uh, hey, Mark. I hey, Mark. How are you? Good body, to hear from though, you. That's all. That's all. I don't mind if a guy's smoking a joint. I don't mind if a guy's drinking a beer. I just don't put it in my body. That's all. It's kind of cool. I just drink water. I, I've been with bands and stuff, and they do, you know, they do pot and beer. But it doesn't bother me because I'm not putting it in my body. It's cool. What about drugs? I don't do drugs. None of them? None. No but drugs doesn't mean I doesn't mean I go out and preach and say, oh, you're not supposed to do drugs. I just let them do what they want to do. If it's comfortable for them, they can go ahead. What the hell? Didn't was Mark know? playing guitar? Yeah, was, that's why his, his name's Mark Lee Tucker. Well, no, well, well, I, I want to hear guitar. I, have, I either have more, water, I hear some more guitar. water, but if someone's doing pot, doesn't matter. Doesn't no. bother me. Hey, Mark, we want to hear more yeah. guitar playing. Huh? Play some more guitar. Okay, watch this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, 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 Okay, that song there, there was about 50,000 like 50, people, and all the other ones were the vocals. It's really cool, you go. You don't like that shit? I worked on that for fucking two years to learn that shit. Yeah, go ahead. You don't like that shit? What song is that? Mark, I like your guitar playing. Hey, I like actually. your shit. Hey, don't worry about it. Love lots of shit. Ha ha ha, joke. Oh, whatever. I'm sorry. I'm too, I joke too much, I guess. to the future. 
Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get, play some guitar, okay? Hey, okay. hey, future, it's us the past. Oh, fuck, man. Piece of shit, goddamn motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna kick this fucking amp from far. Mr. Gibson? Fucking piece of shit. God damn it. Play, play something. Fuck. Play guitar, Mark. Uh, hey. Shit. God damn it, I've dropped my fucking pick. God, motherfucker. <laughs> It's one of the songs. Yellowtail's got a personal story to tell us. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be swearing like that, you know. Yeah, oh, is that Mr. Ginsu? No, I'm just, I shouldn't be swearing like that. You know what I'm saying? You remember Mr. Ginsu, Mark? Oh, 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 quick, quick, where is that Welcome to the no, future, no, and I no, hope you brought no, a no, rowboat. No, what do you have to say to the future, Dan? What? <laughs> All right, thanks, future. Thank you. A robot? Hey, Mark, the show's over. A rowboat. I almost said the show's over. The show's over. A rowboat. I'm wild with the eyes. I didn't tune it up yet. Fuck. A rowboat. Hey, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, suck my fucking dick, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs>